from Karis Levert. 43 points, a career high seven three pointers for Levert tonight down in Memphis. The Nets lose 115 110. Let's get the thoughts of the head coach, Steve Nash. Steve, I'm wondering, you know, you guys went into halftime shooting around 20% from three, and then you had the big third quarter. Was it as simple as the shots going in, or did you guys get better looks and scheme? Uh, yeah. Did you guys get better looks in the second half, and, and that made the difference? Sorry. Hey, no, no problem. I, you know, I think a bit of both. I think more importantly, we had more energy. You know, the first half, we were a little flat and uh, came out, got down 20 something. Um, you know, it was just a step late mentally and physically. Uh, third quarter that we came out and fought. I mean, it was, it was crucial for us to have that little, uh, what was it, a six, seven point run at the end of the first half to get it down to 15. They came out with energy in the third. Um, you know, Karis made some big shots. TP made some big shots uh, and, and found ourselves right back in the game all the way to up four. So, you know, we definitely made, there was some tough shot making, but the energy and, and the desire was there. So I, I was proud of them in the second half. Michael Grady from Yes Network. Uh, Coach, just how disappointing is it this one getting away? And it's kind of too faceted, obviously, getting down early, but to claw back and then come up a little bit short. Yeah, I mean, obviously frustrating, but considering we went down 22 or whatever it was, I believe, uh, to, to fight back and get up four, uh, you know, we it was just a couple possessions here and there where we maybe – drove it into a crowd or took it into a crowd in transition instead of just taking care of the ball and getting a shot of the basket. Um, but when you, when you give yourself uh, that hole to climb out of, you know, sometimes no matter how far you climb back, you know, they, it's, it's too much to overcome by the end. I, I know Jared was checking into the game a little bit late in that, in that uh, fourth quarter, then there was no dead balls. Did you want to get him in a little bit sooner? And how yeah. tough was that decision with DJ? Yeah. I mean, DJ was, Giving us good minutes, he was he was doing fine, uh, he was playing well. We wanted to get, you know, wanted to get Jay back into the game, and uh, unfortunately, you know, at that point we were he was stuck over on the sideline for a minute or two. Uh, didn't really want to burn a timeout because DJ was doing fine. Um, so, just one of those unlucky situations. But you know, I don't think that was the difference in the game. We turned the ball over, I think, a few times, or took it into a crowd and got blocked uh, at that end when we should have been a little more patient. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Steve, I, I apologize if you were asked, but that, that three and a half minute span where you guys were cold offensively down the stretch, was that, and some of those were turnovers as well. I mean, did you just attribute that to tired legs or was there more sloppiness there in that span than you would have liked? You know, I, I, I'm assuming, you know, the, the Guys with legs were maybe a little tired because we played last night, got in really late and, and had to claw back out of a big hole. So I don't want to discredit that, but you know, I thought we were just uh, forced a couple plays, you know, took it into a crowd in transition, like I said, maybe drove the ball a little impatiently and got blocked, things like that, where we could have just ran the offensive, stayed patient and got better looks. So sometimes that happens. We got it, we, we flawed all the way back with a big adrenaline rush and you get a little carried away at times. And I think we just didn't have the poise when we were up four to kind of manage that lead. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, is it possible for Karras to maintain this level of aggression uh, when Kyrie and KD come back? And what's it going to take for him to find this stride uh, when these stars return to the lineup? I think Karras is usually really aggressive. I think he just was 7-9 from 3 tonight, so it makes it all look totally different, right? Um, but uh, he, he was great. He was huge. He, he was a big part of uh, us getting back into the game, obviously. But I, I've never really had a problem with his aggressiveness. It's just, uh, you know, tonight, I think it's just paints a picture of when the ball goes in the basket, uh, you know, it looks a lot different. But he's been playing well. He had a couple of good games, a few good games in a row now, and he's getting better all the time. So uh, really proud of the way he's playing. Back to Michael Grady with Yes Network. Coach, can you highlight some of the, uh, some of the miscues you were seeing on the defensive side of the ball? Yeah, you know, I just thought it was an overall – um, a step slow mentally and physically in the first half. And I think that was the biggest problem. They kind of got where they wanted. We, you know, maybe a little lethargic out the gates and you got to put two halves together. We didn't play well in the first half. And I think it was, you could, it, it's not necessarily one thing. You could attribute it to a bunch of things that I think, but at the root of it, it was just, maybe we weren't as uh, sharp as we needed to be mentally and physically and we're a step late on too many scenarios. And that's what gave them a big lead in the first, big lead in the first half. Obviously we had a good second half, but, you know, come down here on the road, after a long flight, we got to, you know, put two halves together. 